You're watching another Raw Instinct commentary. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Max here, or Raw Instinct, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty damn cool weapon combination that includes the Riot Shield. Now, recently, on a lot of my past few videos, a lot of you guys have been requesting me, Max, start a series up about your custom classes, or start doing some custom class videos that we can mess around with, and I thought, well, th hey, that's a pretty damn cool idea because I have some really awesome custom classes for you guys. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about a custom class that includes the Riot Shield. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, also, Max, seriously, the Riot Shield, that thing sucks, you know, I die all the time with it, the lifespan's not that great on it, you know, it's honestly not a great weapon. But I'm here right now to tell you that you're wrong. There's actually a awesome weapon combination that you can use with the Riot Shield. Now you may be asking yourself also, well, what is it? So, actually what this kind of includes is a few different ingredients for this recipe of disaster. Now, the first thing that you're going to want is a G36, the Overkill perk, and the Riot Shield. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how do these things all add up and how is it, you know, really great? So first off, for some information that I'm sure a ton of you don't actually know about, which was actually surprising, which I learned a few days ago, was that the G36 actually has the fastest draw time in Modern Warfare 3, and it only takes a half a second to pull out. Now, as far as sleight of hand goes, that increases swap time by only 50%. So if we minus 50% by 0.5, or this really awesome draw time that we have here, we get about 0.25 seconds for the draw time in Modern Warfare 3, and that is insane. I mean, that is the fastest by far. Now, if we take a look at some gun charts here, of course, we have the assault rifles, the submachine guns, and some pistols because I thought these were some, you know, some common weapons that you guys might actually use overkill with. Now, if we take a look at the assault rifle category, you'll notice that all these weapons take a pretty long time to pull out, 0.75 seconds for a lot of the weapons. But if we take a look at the MK14, the AK47, and the FAD, you know, those all take over one second to pull out. Now, if we take a look at some machine guns, on the other hand, guns like the PP90, the PM9, and the MP7 also take a very long time to pull out. But once again, the G36 has a faster draw time than all these weapons. Now, finally, taking a look at the pistols, which I thought was by far really surprising because a pistol realistically should be easier to pull out than a G36. But once again, the only weapon that beats the G36 in this game is the 5.7, which realistically does have the fastest draw time. But I really thought that you know the G36 is just by far much better of a weapon, and of course, you're gonna do much better with it with this riot shield. So now, if we take a look at the actual class setup, you're going to see that we have a G36 here with the red dot sight, and of course, the best proficiency, which is focus. We also have the riot shield with the proficiency melee, because I kind of like melee over speed. And then we also have sleight of hand, overkill, and dead silence. Your third perk slot is kind of optional, but you definitely want to have sleight of hand pro on there, as it, of course, decreases draw time by about 50%. So that's definitely a big thumbs up there. And of course, overkill gives you that option to hold the riot shield and the G36. And here, I just wanted to show you guys the quick comparison between the G36 and the Riot Shield and some other assault rifles like the AK-47, because you'll notice a huge difference, guys, and you're going to see a big benefit while switching to your Riot Shield. But anyways, you guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. I've been having a ton of fun creating some of these custom class videos, so I actually hope this class kind of benefits you or you kind of have some fun using it. Once again, in conclusion, what this class kind of is, is like some kick-ass, you know, ninja turtle class, and you can run around with like some turtle shell on your back or a riot shield on your back, and whenever you're crouching or proning, it's actually going to be even more difficult to kill you because when you're standing up, the only way the enemy's going to be able to kill you is from the side or the front, and of course, from the back, the only way they're going to be able to kill you is shooting you in the feet. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like down below or click that like button and make sure to leave a comment down below with some of your cool custom classes that i'd like to hear about once again have a great day guys it's max here or raw instinct i'm signing out remember to click that subscribe button up above and peace so for two sexy, sexy videos that you guys may have missed, on the left-hand side, we have the best assault rifle in Modern Warfare 3, which is actually one of our final best of class series videos, so check that out. And on the right-hand side, I have an epic game battles match with Raw Instinct, which is some new series that I'm trying to introduce. Let me know what you think about that if you miss it. Also, guys, click that subscribe button up above and make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter.